Welcome to my channel folks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send Amazon Guard Duty findings to your Slack channel so that your security team can get notified as soon as there is a finding and get the relevant information to start the investigative work. So there are a couple of prerequisites. One is you should have, a, of course, a Slack channel up and running and we also need to have a custom integration so that we can push the notifications to the Slack channel. So I'm going to assume that you have a Slack channel already ready. And if not, you go ahead and create the Slack channel. For in this case, I'm created a Slack channel called AWS Seam Alerts. And for this channel, I'm going to create a webhook. I'm going to show you how to create the webhook. Go ahead and click on apps and you should be able to find an option which says manage apps. If you're not an admin for your Slack channel, you will have to ask your administrator to do this for you. And then under manage, you will have custom integrations. And you can see here there is already one webhook in my account. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say I want to add one more configuration. This is the existing configuration for me. I don't want to use that. I'm going to use another one. So click on add configuration. So it's going to pick up all the channels in my account. And I'm going to choose the one which says AWS Seam Alerts. Choose that and then click on add incoming webhook integration. So it is going to create an HTTPS endpoint. This is what our Lambda function will require so that it can send the alerts to the Slack channel. So now that we are done with the first prerequisite of setting up our Slack channel and creating an incoming webhook, let us go ahead and set up our Lambda functions which can do this job. We have a CloudFormation template which has the necessary code and all the details relevant to it and the code is attached to this GitHub article, so you can go ahead and do that. So for the time being, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and copy the CloudFormation template. Let me go ahead and do that, here it is. I'm just going to quickly do that. Here we go, and then let us go to the CloudFormation, click on Create Stack, I'm going to design a template and remember this is a json template go over to json paste it and then let us go ahead and upload it so click next i'm just going to call it guard duty to slack and remember if you want to have all the notifications go ahead and change to low if you want only the high severity go ahead and change to high and here is the webhook for my Slack channel to be updated. I'm just going to go over to my Slack channel, copy this and put it into my CloudFormation template now. And for the ch channel itself, I'm just going to go back to my Slack and update my Slack channel where I want to send the message and then click on low. So because I want all the findings and then go ahead and click on next. So I'm just going to leave everything else as default, click on next, and I'm going to acknowledge that I would like the roles to be created for me, click on create. And this template is going to run for a couple of minutes before it can start receiving guard duty findings and push it to my Slack channel. So if you want to have a track of all the activities that's happening, go ahead and click on stack, and then go ahead and click on the tab which says events and you can see there all the events that are happening or built the resources built or shown here. So I'm just going to wait for the cloud formation template to complete its functions and then we can go over to our guard duty dashboard and see if we can trigger any sample findings that will come up in our Slack channel. As of now, you can see here, my AWS Seam Alerts Slack channel just shows that it has an incoming webhook and there are no alerts right now. So let us wait for the CloudFormation template to complete. Now my CloudFormation template is complete. Let me go to my Guard Duty dashboard and I'm just going to refresh the findings and let us go to the settings section so that we can add some sample findings. Click on sample findings. And you can see here there are some sample findings that are loaded into our account and this will slowly go ahead and trigger my lambda function and my lambda function will send those findings into my slack channel so i'm just going to give it a minute 
and there you go the first finding is already in place it says that there is an unauthorized ec2 brute force attack against one of my instances so that is how you push messages from your guard duty all the way to your slack channel so that your security team can start working on that and investigate events as and when they happen if you have any difficulty in setting it up give me a shout i would be happy to help you with them thanks for watching happy learning